Listen, I loved being a nurse, but I also love being a nurse practitioner. But there are just three, three things that I just do not like about being a nurse practitioner. Stay tuned for the rest of this video to see what those three things are. P. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are old here, welcome back. On this channel, we talk about all things nursing. We talk about all things nurse practitioner. And we also talk about a little series that I like to do called Mental Health versus Demonic. And that series basically is because I don't believe all this stuff we see going on in the world is mental health. A lot of it is demonic. And that's my stance and I'm sticking to it. So today we're going to talk about three things that I do not like about being a nurse practitioner. One, the charting. I feel like I'm a creative writer sometimes when I'm charting. Remember, I'm dealing with mentally ill people and when you charting, you go back to proofread what you wrote and you like WTF and it's so much charting. This is one of the number one complaints that I hear from nurse practitioners, especially when you work in outpatient. The expectations on how many patients they want you to see and the time you have to chart all while on the clock, the math ain't mathing. The math is not mathing. I think I like inpatient better for this reason. You do have a lot of charting with inpatient, but I don't think it's as much as outpatient. Number two, the hours. Lord, I'm a nurse first. We used to three twelves and a fourth shift for a little razzle dazzle, you know? Many of these inpatient jobs want five eights and I'm like, mm, get somebody else to do it. The outpatient jobs give more flexibility, but your pay is affected as well by that. And also again, all that charting. I miss my three twelves. That was one of my favorite things about being a nurse. I was working the least amount of days and still making the most amount of money. It was the ideal job for me. The ideal job for me as a you know mental health nurse practitioner would be in the emergency room, doing the site inpatients when they come in, 312s. That's what I need. They actually need to start hiring for this role in every hospital and stop having the medical to do it. Like, give us our money. Give us our jobs that you know we should have. Number three, the states have not become autonomous. The states need to become autonomous all of them. The collaborating physician thing is whack. $2,500 a month, it, they don't even help you. It's no input, nothing. Free money for them. I said they were actually mentoring you, you know, but majority of them are not. And Florida, I know we all in the news, but don't get it twisted. I will out nurse any nurse from anywhere, anytime, bring it. Especially in an emergency situation. No panic over here, all actions. But anyway, that's me defending my Florida license because I see y'all little memes out there. Don't come for the Florida nurses, period. Not all of us. But back to my point, the primary nurse practitioners are autonomous in Florida, but the psychiatric mental nurse practitioners are not. Like, it makes no sense. That's our specialty. We should be primary. Florida, what's T? But there are also a bunch of other states, you know, that are not autonomous. But, you know, those are the things that I don't like about being a nurse practitioner. The rest is up and stuck. Like, I love being a nurse practitioner. I love providing passionate care to the mental health population. Like, I love us for real. Like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. It's Angel the Psych MP. Ciao.